guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, um, so we're going to still continue with our domain services, active, Azure Active Directory domain services. Uh, but now we're going to extend it to uh, ARM or the new portal VMs. Uh, remember, yeah, in the last video, we created the domain services, we created a, a, a VM in the classic portal and join that VM to the domain service. Now we're going to extend that to the new portal. So we have everything set up here in the old portal. So I'm not. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna go over that again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and launch a new portal. To achieve um, this, we're gonna do uh, <coughs> VNet pairing. Basically, we're gonna join a uh, ARM or v, uh, new portal v, uh, VNet to the old portal VNet. Simple as that. So, uh, log into my new portal, and the first thing I'm going to do is jump into my uh, virtual network. There's no virtual network here because this is not the uh, classic, so I'm going to say. Uh, the other one uh, I believe it was uh, DS T domain service test the IDEO equivalent arm um. well, the other one was zero zero so we're gonna make this uh, ten one Sixteen. Call this one I server. Then we're gonna make this one zero one. That should do it. Leave it in that subscription, and let's use. existing this one was the one that was created uh, from the uh, classic portal so let's just put it in there west and let's go ahead and create and we'll just give that a few minutes to uh, finish creating and we refresh once it's done creating let's go into that and this time I'm not gonna forget so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, create a new subnet And then once I do that, then I'm going to jump into pairing. I'm going to call it link to classic. And the virtual machine I want to pair with is a classic. Uh, sorry, the virtual network I want to uh, pair with is a classic. And I'm going to say choose network, or choose virtual network. And I'm going to 
choose the one we created yesterday on the classic portal, which is this one. And I say peer. And it's done peering. And it says connected. That's all you need to do for peering. So, but what I'm going to do here for this one also, uh, I'm going to jump into my DNS now that it's paired. I'm going to say custom uh, DNS for this network. And I'm going to tell it to use the uh, IP address for the uh, domain services. Remember when we did this uh, yesterday? Once I have the IP address for the DNS of the uh, domain service, I'll go ahead and save. And that should be all you need to do to extend the domain service to uh, ARM or v uh, new portal VMs. But what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to test it out. Uh, just not do the steps and not test it out. So. Um, I have nothing set up in this one here, so let's go ahead and just uh, run through what I'm going to do here. So we've already created a virtual network. So let me jump in. Uh, where's my storage? Storage account. Test stick in the IDEO. Now we're going to leave it. Uh, this is where we want it storage, and we're going to make it. You should get this should be uh, elementary now, so I'm just going to breeze through it quickly. Existing, and I'm going to put it in. is creating well, that should be all uh, then I'll jump into my virtual machines so let me do it from here go here I'll go into the resource group I say add To a Windows Server, create. So name, I had a problem with this name. I gave it the same name as the uh, NetBIOS name yesterday, and I had some issues. So let's give this one DSV. Test VM two uh, drive name DSV test admin That's what we want it. That's what I want it. And let's go say OK. Now this time we're going to do the standard one so we can uh, move a little bit faster. Right, 
this is what I wanted and what subnet do I want it on you're not an important and NSG Almost missed it. Let's go back here. Put it here. But all the settings could be anything. The key thing, um, the key thing about this setup is the virtual network here. It needs to be the virtual network that's paired with the um, with the classic virtual network. create uh, I'll be back once it's done creating okay so it looks like a deployment is done We're gonna go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and connect to it. I've got the username wrong, so let me just check here what I got. Ah, no video. standard uh, A1 so it should move faster than the uh, basic we had comes up first thing I'm gonna do confirm that my DNS server is uh, applied perfect then I'm just gonna go in here to local server to work group it's a change then I'm gonna try to join the domain it's a uh, D S V test dot hazelnest.com And 
I'm joined to the domain. A domain service that was hosted, that it is hosted in the uh, classic portal. Alright, uh, so I go ahead and close and I restart. I'll give it a couple of minutes to restart and then we'll come back. Okay, we're giving it about uh, six minutes for it to reboot. Let's see if we can uh, connect now. Now, since we've joined the domain, uh, this time we're not um, we're not going to use the local account anymore. We're going to use the domain account. Uh, what's it called? Um, DSV test. in using the domain service account so basically that's how you set up a domain service in the classic portal and then extend it over to the new arm portal or the new resource uh, manager portal all right uh, thank you for watching uh, let me know if you have questions